Uh, the first thing I want to do is just do a few little code tidy ups. So let's get this to be uppercase just to make it more tidy. And let's also fix up our lang strings. So for example here, we don't really want to do this in Moodle. What we want to do is have all the lang strings in a separate lang file and then that makes it easier to do translations and stuff like that. So let's create that directory, lang, and we'll say English language. So that's why it's n. And then we'll do a new file in there called, uh, what do we call it actually? It's like this, assign, yeah. So we'll call it local message. Okay, so we get that file. Uh, so we do it like this. Let's copy that and just get that in there. It's the boilerplate code. Local message. Yep. And what we want to do is, for example, this one that we said, we'll grab that string, put that in here. and then give it a programmable name. And what we do is instead of having it like that, we do get string, and then you can see the params, identifier and component. So the identifier is that component local, oops, component local message. And that's just a much nicer way to do it. So now if you set the language to something else and we had another folder here, you could change the language for this string at least. And let's just keep going and basically get the rest of the strings done. So like here's one, message type. And we'll get that in there. Message type. And we'll do the same thing like this. Any other strings in there? Yep, there's this one. And let's put that as message text. Cool, put that in here, message text. You canceled your message form. Canceled form. Put that in there as well. You know, it's a bit tedious, but it's it's going to basically make it. Yeah, it's a, it's the proper Moodle way to do things. So you always want to do this. Um, and there's this one. You created a message. Got to get the right identifier. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Do we have any other strings? There's this one, manage messages. Let's fix that one as well. That's looking good. And that's it for there, and that's it. There's obviously not in version. That's looking good. What we can do is check our site, and everything should be working the same as it already was. For example, manage messages in the title. We'll probably need to clear the cache, admin CLI purge caches, and then let's just wait for this to load. And we should have all the strings the same. Uh, all the displaying is the same as before. Yeah, so we can see our title, for example, and our, our messages. Create message. Line 32, get string, identifier. Oh, of course, that's not, that's not the right identifier. Let's put that in there properly. All right, message text shows up there. That's great. Uh, so that's good. We've done a few tidy ups to the code. I think that's looking better. In the next video, we'll continue with actually trying to delete and manage our messages a bit more.